What's going on, Odooers? If you know the joy of using a barcode scanner to manage your inventory operations, then you know the last thing we want to do is put down that scanner and touch a button on the screen. Why tap when you could just beep? Fortunately for us, the barcode app includes a collection of operation types and commands that would allow us to skip the touchscreen step and keep on scanning. So let's dive right in and take a look at Stealthy Woods Scanner First inventory workflow. The barcodes that we'll be using are divided into two categories, operation types and commands. Operation types represent the kind of operations that we do regularly in our business like receipts, transfers, and deliveries. We can see the operations we're using here at Stealthy Wood by going into the inventory app, clicking configuration, followed by operation types. Every Odoo database will have the receipts and delivery orders operation types, and ours also has an internal transfers option because we enabled the storage locations feature. I can add more operations type by enabling features in the inventory settings or even create my own custom ones. Feel free to check out our video on custom operation types to learn more. But for now, I'm going to stick with these. Besides those are commands. These will let us do a variety of things that are equivalent to pressing a button in the Odoo app, except better because we get to do it with a barcode scanner. To print out these powerful barcodes, all we have to do is click on configuration at the top, followed by settings, and find our barcode section. And then directly under the barcode scanner setting, we can find our print barcode commands and operations type button. If you have an IoT printer connected, the barcodes are sent directly to it, but we don't have that hooked up right now, so it'll be downloaded as a PDF. I can also click this print storage locations option, and we'll be able to scan a location to do a transfer. That also works even if we have only one location like stock. While we're here in the barcode section, I'll also want to make sure we tick this stock barcode database option, which will be a huge help when we're scanning in new products later down the line. With these barcodes printed, I can help everyone out at Stealthy Wood by making sure that the relevant commands are easily accessible and all in the right places in our warehouse. Let's get started by adding an item to our inventory. Normally, when receiving new products into inventory, I want to have a receipt printed so I can scan it when it arrives and let Barcode do its magic of validating the scheduled receipt. But on the shop floor today, we realized that we were out of screws and we have another shipment scheduled, so we need to keep things moving today. So I went ahead, ran out and bought another box of screws to help us finish up making the tables that were scheduled for today. And in the spirit of keeping things moving, I'm going to do this all on the fly with my barcode scanner. In the receiving area of our warehouse, we've posted this receipts WHIN operation barcode. In the barcode app, this does the same thing as tapping operations, then tapping receipts, and then tapping the new button. But if there's two things I love, it's skipping unnecessary steps and not trying to tap on a touchscreen with my enormous hands. So instead of all of that, I'm just going to scan this receipts barcode and beep. Just like that, we can get these new screws into our system. So these new screws have a GS1 barcode. GS1 is a barcode nomenclature for products that are registered with global trade identification numbers. We're still a small operation at Stealthy Wood, lovingly building our wooden furniture by hand. So we haven't purchased GTINs for our products. However, we can still benefit from the fact that our suppliers are using GS1 with the power of barcode lookup. This will let Odoo search a database and fill in all the info we need for a new product. So I can go ahead and scan that box of screws. Oh no, Odoo says that the product doesn't exist. So what we can do is go ahead and scan this again, but this time click this create new product. A new product form is all filled out and completed with a picture. I'll click save and now this is a product defined in our inventory. Even if I cancel the receipt now, the screws will remain forever in our hearts and saved as a product type in our inventory. Then I'm just going to go ahead and scan this box twice more because I bought three of them. And now I can go ahead and scan our validate command. 
And just like that, everything is completed and we've added screws to our inventory, unblocking any manufacturing order that was blocked by the missing components. You won't find a screw loose here at Stealthy Wood. Along with receipts, internal transfers is another operation type that we can scan. But what if I told you there's even a faster way? I can initiate a transfer just by scanning the location. For example, I'll scan this stock warehouse barcode. You can see the barcode has created a new transfer. Starting here at warehouse stock, I'll scan the barcode of the product that I want to move, which is going to be this table leg. From here, I can scan validate. Wait, this table leg is defective. Instead of scanning validate, I'm going to scan cancel. Not today, defective table leg. Fortunately, scrapping is just another kind of transfer to a magical virtual location called scrap. So I can scan my location, warehouse stock. Then I'll scan the table leg barcode. And then now I will go ahead and scan the scrap command. Then from here, I just need to select and verify the table leg as the product to scrap and then tap this scrap button. And just like that, the table leg is removed from inventory. I wish I could scrap all my problems this easily. Now, unless we're being robbed, I don't usually have a good reason to start a spontaneous delivery order. Take what you want, but could you at least scan the barcodes first? We really need to keep our inventory up to date. Here, it's really easy. That unlikely scenario aside, what does happen sometimes is that items show up for delivery missing their delivery slips or the picking operation that we scan for delivery. Fortunately, we have a solution for that and that can be done here in the barcode app. So I'll go ahead and tap this operations button and then tap delivery orders. And here I can see all of my to-do deliveries. I can see that I have a stool in this delivery, so I'll go ahead and scan its barcode. And now Odoo cleverly filters out my pending delivery orders to only show the ones with the stool in it. So I'll tap the only delivery with the stool in it. And here I can fix my missing paperwork problem. The print delivery slip command will print the kind of delivery slip that I would ship out with the order or I can print the picking operation. For any receipt, transfer or delivery and get the same thing but with all the barcodes for the picking operation and products that I would need to scan. So I can go ahead and scan the print picking operation and then tap continue because even though I'm going to scan validate to finish this delivery, having the barcode will help us immensely with returns. To initiate a return, all I need to do is scan the same picking operation barcode, the one we just printed. So I'll scan the delivery order barcode and when I do, I get this warning saying that this picking operation is already done. But that's great because I'm just going to undo it. So I'll go ahead and scan the return command. And suddenly we're doing a return instead. Now I can either tap plus one on the table or scan the stool's barcode to add it to the return. And then my favorite part, we can go ahead and scan validate. And now that sends the return order through. And that's it, Odooers. We're managing our warehouse with the power of one barcode scanner and these indispensable operation types and command barcodes. If you haven't been validated today, you're doing great. See you later.